The answer is, I think, because he knew that his influence would be less likely to be uh, effective if he narrowed his support for particular candidates on particular issues. Uh, that, and he did on occasions do that. And one most important, I think, is in 1948 when he supported Henry Wallace, for a, um, who was a third party candidate in the American presidential election. He's not a household name now, but he was at the time. Um, but even there, Einstein was calibrated his support. And when he was asked to, to subscribe or, or, or sign a public letter opposing NATO, which he did oppose, the formation of NATO, um, he held back from associating himself with that particular letter that initiated by Wallace because he didn't want to be tied too closely to a particular political position. Rather ambivalent, he walked a fine line, um, but he always felt his, his most effective um, role was to be stand to the side of political um, activity as such and not to become tied into or, or limited by particular political positions. Short answer to that is no. Um, I think because then he would have simply have been one other voice among many political advocates and political, uh, uh, you know, party political opinions. In politics, much more is involved than politics. And he embodied that something else that's involved in politics, which is to say a, a moral stance um, which, uh, it, it, uh, which takes you above and beyond the day-to-day -day political uh, battles. And, uh, and carries some authority. Of course, people have accused Einstein of being a windy idealist and not being uh, uh, sufficiently related to practicalities of day-to-day -day politics. But I think uh, his effectiveness, as I say, came from an element of detachment, of independence, of the uniqueness of his voice as a, as a kind of humanitarian moral voice in the 20th century. At the end of the war, there was this huge uh, desire to see some major institutional international changes to try and you know, stop war happening again. So the UN is formed and all its associated it, um, institutions. And in that context, Einstein's voice was kind of pushing towards uh, in that direction. He was ahead of the game, if you like, more radical than the um, official uh, uh, p positions, but he was in the same ballpark. Uh, so you do find him in and out of, in his career, going in and out of um, phase with international, w w with the establishment, if you like. For short periods, he's in tune with the uh, desire to get rid of war. Then the establishment gets rather, inst you know, things happen. They get uh, turned away from that radical position, and his voice becomes rather on, on the margins again. Uh, but I think in both phases. His was a voice to be reckoned with and uh, that, that politicians listened to even if they didn't like it.